Let's review how to get an accurate reading with your pulse oximeter. The best finger to use is your ring finger, as it has the best blood flow, which makes for the most accurate reading. You're going to gently place the pulse oximeter on your finger. Now, the clip has a spring mechanism, so when it's placed down on your finger, the blood typically flows out of the finger. So you want to wait around 30 seconds for that blood to come back in and for the reading to stabilize. It also may take longer if your hands are cold or if you were just previously gripping something. When you're exercising, it's important to take a baseline measure before you start to exercise. So you know what your resting oxygen levels and heart rate are. If you have a ring style oximeter, you can wear that as you're moving. If you have a clip on device like what I have here, you're gonna wanna put it on during your rest periods. As you rest, your oxygen levels should rise and your heart rate should decrease. These are signs that your body is recovering and delivering oxygen effectively throughout your body. Once you've finished your workout, you wanna check your oxygen levels again. And this is to make sure that our oxygen and our heart rate are back at our resting levels. Over time, as you're more consistent with your exercise, you may notice your oxygen levels stay more stable during the same activity. This means your body is becoming stronger and more efficient at using oxygen.